plans to create a special economic zone in Nakuru is taking shape with the government development company launching the direct use of geothermal steam to power industrial processes. GDC engineer Estan Jugona says the direct use of geothermal steam will lower the cost of power by 70%. Companies located in the special economic zone will also benefit from the water drawn from the wells. The idea of setting up a special economy was mooted in 2014 in a bid to reduce the cost of power and deepen the country's industrial base. However, delays in setting up critical infrastructure have delayed the plan, frustrating investors. But the plan appears to be taking shape with the Geothermal Development Corporation, commissioning the direct use of geothermal steam. GDC says the government is in talks with various local and international investors who are keen on using geothermal steam in textile manufacturing, dairy processing, greenhouse and fish farming, among other industries. While speaking at the GDC Alternative Geothermal Steam Use Demonstration Projects at Menengai Crater, GDC Chief Engineer Estan Juguna says the steam technology will place Kenya in the same league as the USA, New Zealand and Iceland, which has diverse classified use of geothermal energy away from traditional electricity generation for growth. The saving that is we get from geothermal is really, it's really immense. We are sure that geothermal will, uh, will propel us forward. And this project has actually been able to woo a lot of investors to us. And what we are doing is we want to commercialize this uh, project and we have investors come and uh, set up their industries around Menengai and we'll be able to supply the heat and in future we'll also be able to harvest the gases and the minerals that come with geothermal. The demonstration projects include steam-heated greenhouses, steam-heated aquaculture ponds, geothermal milk pasteurizer plant, geothermal laundry unit and geothermal grain dryer. Kenya is the seventh leading producer of geothermal energy in the world and the leader in Africa with 700 megawatts of geothermal power.